Hey everybody and welcome to this final video in the AI tutorial series. Throughout the last couple of episodes we've already created a pretty awesome game. At the moment we have the game running and we also have the AI learning how to play. So the biggest parts of this project are already out of the way. But in this video I want to make three small and helpful adjustments to the code. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show the hitbox of the dinosaurs in different colors. This will help us distinguish between the individual dinosaurs. The second thing I'll show you is how to add the dinosaur's line of sight into the game. And the third and final thing we're going to add to the game is a small dashboard with the key information. So let's go ahead and add the colored hitboxes to the game. In the dinosaur class, we want to go to the init method and we're going to create a new variable called color and it will be assigned a random color. So every time a dinosaur is initialized, we assign a certain color to the specific dinosaur. And we're going to use this color for his hitbox and his line of sight that we're going to discuss later on. And in order to draw the hitbox, we can now go down to the draw function and add this line of code. All this does is draw a rectangle around the dinosaur with the color that we've just assigned. But let me just briefly go through the arguments that go into the rect function over here. The first argument specifies where we want to output our rectangle. And since we simply want to add it to the game window, we're going to write screen. The next argument specifies the color of the rectangle. Then comes the dimensions of the rectangle. And the last argument specifies the width of the line, which is going to be two pixels. And if we go ahead and run this code, you'll see that every dinosaur has a colored hitbox. All right, so now moving on to the second thing we wanted to add, which is the dinosaur's line of sight. So in the draw function that we just talked about when we added the hitbox, we want to simply go ahead and add a small for loop. This for loop simply draws a line from the dinosaur's eye to the nearest cactus. And one small thing that I want to mention at this point is that you'll notice two numbers over here, 54 and 12. Don't be confused by these numbers. These numbers are simply the offset that allow us to put the end of the line at the very center of the dinosaur's eye. And now if we run this, you'll see that we have the hitboxes, as well as a line of sight from the dinosaur's eye to the nearest obstacle. Now the very last thing I want to add is a small dashboard with the most important information on every generation of dinosaurs. Within our evolution function, we're simply going to add a new function called statistics. And this function is going to help us determine how many dinosaurs are in the dinosaurs list. Basically, this tells us how many dinosaurs are currently alive. The next thing we want to add is the population generation. So every time a dinosaur generation dies out, we increment this value by one. And the last thing we're going to add is the game speed. So now that we've assigned some text values to these three variables, we also need to output them on our screen. And that's exactly what we accomplish with this small code block over here. All right, so now within the main loop, we want to add a call to the function statistics. Finally, we need to make sure that in the run function, the population is a global variable. Now, if we go ahead and run this, you'll see that we have a small dashboard with all the most important information. All right, so this concludes the small AI tutorial series. Remember that all the code that I used throughout the series is going to be linked down in the description below. If you enjoyed this series and would like to see more of these types of videos in the future, then let me know by leaving a like rating down below. And as always, see you in the next video.